Is it too late to buy Bitcoin? That's been your main question on the comment sections of my video. So let's dive into that today. Check out the news, check out the charts and hit the subscribe button down below. YouTube loves to shadow ban cryptocurrency content. So make sure you do that and the bell notification icon if you are an existing subscriber. Thank you very much guys for stopping by. If you find value, hit that like button. So Bitcoin, let's take a look at it. Charts, we've hit $1 trillion on the market cap and we're about to flip Tesla as well. Tesla's market cap, which is getting close to 800 billion. Bitcoin sitting around that 700 billion. Let's take a look at that. Here we are, coin market cap, 1 trillion, 14, let's call it 15 billion because it's such a long number there. 1 trillion, 15 billion market cap. Uh, Bitcoin sitting at $712 billion. Ethereum, $132 billion. All the way down here, XRP has had a nice little bump off its bottom, nearly 14 billion again. All right, so Bitcoin, 700 billion. Let's take a look at Satoshi value. One US dollar is currently worth 2,619 Satoshis. All this means is the Bitcoin is getting stronger against USD. I just called it the Bitcoin. Uh, four years ago, it was 109,000 Satoshis. Now it's just 2,000 Satoshis. All right, so Bitcoin today, 38,000. Yesterday we had a high of $40,400, now sitting at 38,300. This thing just keeps moving up in very high volume. So 39,000 was my next target after 31,000. We've hit that, we haven't closed above it yet, so I'm still thinking maybe, but there's no sign of this reversing just yet. What we are looking for, everyone else, is it too late? Is it too late? It's too late when the one day swing gets broken. But long term, I still am staying by my $200,000 a price prediction that I've put out months ago now. I've got the video there. I'll probably leave it as a link at the end of the video. So stick around for that. All right. And the next target after 39000 is up here at 51000 all right, we're gonna keep following this along the way and I'm just gonna drop it down to a three day chart, see if we've got some measures here that we can work with that might be a little closer just in case it doesn't make it all the way through. So there's a low here at 17.6, 17.5, there's the low point, high point of 34.8, next low point. We're sitting at the 61% of the three day, the latest three day uh, price action and then the next price point is around 45,000 if uh, The market happens to extend we could be looking at 53. So there's some price clusters up at around the early 50,000s uh, But first we've got to get through that Comfortably get through 40 and then we've got 45 there So they're nice round numbers, which I definitely like because it's what people look for when they're sitting there Price target orders when they're starting to buy or sell they're good areas. So let's get rid of this I'm going to clear the chart and have a look at what we want to look for If this trend is ending so this is what I pay attention to and follow on a regular basis now it's the one day swing only when we get into these parabolic states so let's throw this on auto. What I'm talking about here, if you don't know what a swing is, it's when a bar goes beneath the previous day's bar. So here you've got an up bar, up bar, up bar, and this is a down. So you've got a lower top, lower bottom, and then the market moves above the previous day, turning, it, turning the swing up. All right, so you can see here we have a low. No bar has gone below the previous day until we see that day and then we are up again. And then we have a swing here, and we're up again, massive swing, getting volatile now, so we're getting closer and closer to that peak. And from this point, we wanna see for a breakdown, when everyone's asking, is it too late, is it too late? I wanna see a breakdown of the one day swing. So we haven't seen a breakdown of the one day swing yet after we have broken the all time high. All right, so why is this so important? Because this is what broke down last time. And it's a very old technical analysis uh, tool that's been used forever. Uh, I know over 100 years at least. Uh, WD Dan came up with this, go from there. Someone may even come up with it earlier than him, but that's who I learned from over 100 years ago. Here's the one day swing after we break through 
these levels. Uh, so the previous top was at around 1100, started to break up. This is the, the chart area here. Now we broke through, had a reverse, and then we started making our journey from 900, 1000 bucks up to 3000. So it tripled, double, tripled, there you go. And you could see along this journey that the one day swing wasn't broken. You got to zoom in a lot to see this. And there's a, there's a swing low, another swing low, another swing, broke it here, but we haven't crossed the all time high yet. Now we start the trending up, swing low. Uh, no swing low yet, swing low, another swing low, but it's within and it continues up and up. There's a swing low, there's a swing low, another one here, but we're still up until this day here, the 12th of June, 2017, breaks the swing low and sets us on a sideways scary dump if you're in the market then uh, all the way through for about 50 odd days. So there's the top, here's the bottom, 34 days. We've talked about this in a previous video. Here's in the previous major top, 52. Okay, so once we get to a top, what I'm looking at is an area of around a month to two months. That's what I've said throughout. Once we see a top, once we see a break of this one day swing, I would expect we would see about a one to two month correction phase. So if you are buying in at the tops, so say you bought in through here, 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 all these days that are going up, then all of a sudden you get this scary bar in and you're in a loss, a paper loss, because you bought in at 2,800 and $3,000. Now you're sitting at 27 or 26. And then all you see for the next month is price beneath your buy in price. And then you get this massive drop into the lows. You've bought in somewhere at the tops and you're seeing a 30% drop on your portfolio. That is going to scare you to get out. And that's precisely what a lot of people did here. I remember selling out some of my Bitcoin here in the 2000s because this was a very quick dip. And then I sold out a little more here. But the trend reversed again, volume was bought up and the rest is history, it kept going. The next safest point was to get in as the tops broke. So sure, you lose a fair chunk between 2000 and 3000, but that's another safe entry again. We're getting in through the tops. We know the the trend is confirmed as up again. So that's what I wanna talk about in this video. Is it too late to get in? I don't believe so, but you have to understand that you could be buying at the tops and this is what could come in the next one to two months from January through to March. Are you prepared to hold on for a overall drop in the market from the top to the bottom, 38%, maybe 40%? Can you hold on that long and see your account drop from 30 to 40%? If you can't, then you're probably not cut out to be investing. If you can, take it and for what it is and understand that maybe there's gonna be a period of about one to two months that you'll have to sit in a loss and cop some of these scary times where it looks like this market is never coming back again. So remember, we're trading everything to the right where there's no data. So at the moment, there's no data to the right. Just for an example, you've bought in all the way up here and all you can see is this scary drop off the top of a cliff. You sell out through a lot of this volume, smart money buys up and you are livid that you missed out on this huge run up here. So if you do happen to sell out, you, you shit the bed, you, you get scared and you sell out these bottoms, just look for the swings and get in again. Not financial advice, this is just how swing trading works. The safe entry point, I should say, is to get in as the swings are broken and the trend is confirmed up again. This, this rise, this rally here, really confirmed the strength of the market that it just wiped out the losses of the last 34 days within one, two, three, four days. Four days straight up. You can see here we're just gonna take a measured move from here up to this point, four days straight up, wiped out the losses, a little bit of an accumulation period, another test, a quick drop down, couldn't make it very far, sat on old resistance and then took off back to the races. So there's uh, there are ways to get back in if you crap the bed and you don't feel like you are cut out for this sort of market, you may be buying in at these high levels, you're dumping it on these drops, 
stay with it. You see the trend come back, don't worry. It doesn't matter if you buy the top again, you've just lost yourself 20 or 30%. Hang in there, learn from the mistakes and then keep some stops closer to the market on the way up again because that is the safest time to enter, not here. These are much safer times to enter in a bull market. And personally, I'm looking at this as a much uh, longer bull market. We're just at the beginning of this bull market stage again. Could see it go for another 12 or so months, maybe longer, maybe slightly shorter. But I definitely think we're going closer to that 200 grand and I'm getting more confident in that call the, the, the longer this market goes on because of the strength of this move from the all time high. Sure, like I've said, we could see a top sometime soon. We haven't broken the one day, so keep with the trend. Trend is your friend, you know all those sayings. And uh, basically come back and bounce around. Who knows if that's what we see, right? And take off. But that could be the couple of months there that it takes for this market to continue again up to 60, 80 grand until we see another one of these pullbacks. This first move out is really going to show us what the ranges are that the market is liking because the last time we had a solid pullback was, I would say around this area, this 12 to 10,000. I don't think this is, this is still within the trend going up. It's not really like a solid drop out of the market. Sure, that 19 to 16 is, but what I'm talking about here is this, this range from 10 up to wherever this top is. We take that range and then that's gonna give us uh, an idea of how we can project price targets, price predictions, which we all love, moving forward. So that's what I'm uh, excited to see, is see where this top comes in so that it can give us some more maths and price prediction areas moving forward into this bull market. So 200 grand, yes, I think we can definitely get there. We're at 40 now. It's another 5X from this point. It's really not that far anymore. It is an absolutely wild claim. And sure, there's plenty of people out there saying 500 million, whatever. But with the, how I think it's gonna get there, and I, I don't even think it would be actually worth that much, is that the circulating supply is just released from the market. There's no more circulating supply. For example, uh, there's about 4 million cycling around, which we've talked about in a previous video. And of that 4 million, it's spread across multiple different exchanges. So there's even less through there. So, so people who are trying to invest, investors, traders, whatever, there's not that much supply. Say there was only 10 Bitcoin and there was one Bitcoin sitting at every exchange and all these people wanted to come in to get it, that would automatically push the price up even if it's not really worth that much because once people see the price go from 50 to 500, just because of the lack of supply, you could have a whole lot of people come back on, flood back onto the markets and dump their tokens at that price, dump their coins, their Bitcoins at that price, which would then bring the price back down to somewhere where the, the, the buyers and sellers are meeting up again. So the supply could show a, a false high point Hope you understand what I'm saying there. Not to say that Bitcoin can't be worth 500 grand in the future, but for a brief period of time, it might not be worth that much just because of how much is coming into the market. So that's my Bitcoin video for today. Are you too late? No, but don't be asking someone when this thing drops, what do I do, what do I do? If you probably made it this far in the video, you won't be asking those questions. It's usually the guys who click onto videos and then straight away write a comment, what do I do? You've seen them before, quite funny. Leave us a like down below if you found some value from this forecast and are you too late and what to do, basically a plan moving forward using history, looking at the previous uh, bull market starting point of Bitcoin and basically giving ourselves a bit of a time horizon, time periods, uh, a roadmap and possible percentage drops along the way. So uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, like the content if you found some value from it, and I will catch you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.